Hello everybody, welcome to Butterfly Transformations. Today, I wanted to broach the topic of never look back. And the reason why I wanna talk about that is as we go into 2020, there are a lot of things that many of us are releasing. There are a lot of things that many of us have already released. And then there are more things that some of us still need to release. Release has been a recurring theme in a great majority of my readings for my clients over the last several weeks. And so as we move, as we just are on the heels of leaving this full moon, coming on the winter solstice, and then just coming into the new year in general, I wanted to talk about the importance of not looking back and being willing to let go of the things that you need to be able to let go of that have encumbered you that have held you back, that may have for some of you stripped you of your dignity, that have kept you in a place of confusion, that have caused a lack of clarity in your life, and that essentially have brought you no good. So you're with Tanisha Ali, helping you to get clear, up-level your mindset, clear and heal energetic and emotional blocks, and manifest the glory of God that is within you. If this looks like a topic that you're in interested in, stay tuned. <music> We're living in times that require that we be responsible for speaking our truth, for being in our truth. And that's an evolving process. It's not something we do right away. It's something that we fight and we come to a realization that we have to do. And when we do it at various levels, we find that as we continue to grow and evolve, there are more areas of our lives that require we do that. We're also coming to a place in our human expansion that requires us to be free to live according to what we feel are our highest intentions. We're called to live according to our highest intentions. And that requires us to do a lot of things differently than what we've done in the past. It requires us to learn the lessons of the past, some of the hardest lessons that we've had to learn. So I want you to take a look at 2019. Look at the things in 2019 that went great for you. Those are not the, the things that we, we, we are focusing on. What we want to focus on are the things that maybe didn't go as great or the plans that went awry or the energies that were in our lives that served to undermine everything that we were trying to do or some of the things that you might have been trying to do. And what you want to remember is that when you release those things, and you need to release them prior to going into this next year, when you release those things, it's important not to invite those energies back into your life. Oftentimes when you release those energies, it is because you have reached a new level of awareness. You have opened your mind to something else. You are growing. Your vibration has changed. So that lower um, level existence, that lower level partnership, whether it was a business whether it's a family member, whether it's a lover, whether it's an estranged relationship with someone else, a child, whatever, no longer meets eye to eye. It no longer resonates. All right. So there's a break that happens. Now, sometimes we make that break because we pay attention to the signs. Other times the divine steps in and makes the break for us because we haven't done it for ourselves. And when that happens, it's like a catastrophic tower moment and we don't have a choice. We end up picking up the pieces. But no matter how it happens, what is important to realize is that when you let something go, you need to leave it in the past for good. Okay. If you think about the stories in some of the holy books, whether it be the Bible, the Quran or the Torah, I know in the Quran, it speaks of Prophet Lot. I can't think of his name in the Christian literature. But when uh, God came and destroyed the, the, the Sodom and Gomorrah, the people who were committing sodomy and doing all sorts of, there was all sorts of moral corruption and depravity in the land. And he allowed him to take his family with him. They were asked, they were told not to look back. And she could not not look back. And when she looked back, she was turned to stone. That is important to really, really remember. Why? Because when we look back, it stops us in our growth. 
doesn't matter who it is. Every blue moon, you may enter into a situation where someone has really grown, but most of the time, not like that. It takes someone doing a lot of self-work, whether it's a partnership, a lover, or anything else you may be trying to let go of, to actually come to the level where they can meet you when you are ascending. And so when you stop and you look back, you stop all your progress and you get stuck. You're turned to salt or you're turned to stone, whatever it is that you uh, can identify with. When you leave a lower vibratory frequency situation, you are ascending and you are growing, okay? You're on a path. You're following your soul's energy. You are evolving. When you turn around and you look back, that element is going to drag you back and it will devour you and it will not have changed. What your convictions have brought you to, for any of you who this message is resonating with, what your convictions have brought you to, you need to look straight ahead. You know the saying, you can't move forward looking back. You cannot move forward looking back. This is, this is a time where you're totally in your mental energy where you have clarity of thought, where you're standing on truth, where you are following your purpose and your unique path in life. And it does not include the past, the old situation, the drama, the chaos, the disruptive energy, the betrayal, the lies, whatever it is that you might be dealing with. All right. If this, if this message relates to your own habits, and the things that you have done that have been underhanded, that have been dishonest, that have lacked integrity, that have landed you or landed you in a state of confusion, this is telling you you're in a time of release. Certainly you're in a time of release or you need to release or you've already released. This is a time to purge yourself of those habits and not look back because the next time you won't be so lucky. The next time you enter back into something that you needed to have left behind, whether it's lingering emotions about something, waking up at night thinking about somebody, talking on the phone to your girlfriend about something that you know meant you know well that wasn't going anywhere for guys, if it's going back to a lady who has mistreated you, who has not valued you, and you're still in your heart space, you're still not in your heart space, you're in your emotions. Okay, you're still in your emotions and your feelings and you can't get past the reality that that tower moment came to you for a reason and you need to leave that situation alone. It's going to be the noose around your neck. We are going into a new decade. This is a decade, 2020, the, 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 the 22, number one, but also the number four. We're talking about building stable foundations and structures. Anything that you have in your life or anything that you've had in your life that has not had a sound foundation is going to crumble. And anything that you have in your life that you begin building into this new year will stand strong provided it has a strong foundation. So this is a time to rally around all of the things that you've been creating that have brought you goodwill, that have brought you abundance, that have allowed you to manifest the things that you want to manifest in your life and make sure that you are not deluding yourself and taking things into the new year that you know have no business going with you. Emotions and feelings can get us into difficult places. Emotions and feelings can free us. Emotions and feelings are the segue to healing that we need to do, but we are not supposed to be in our emotions and feelings all the time. We're supposed to find the balance, the balance between the mental and the spiritual, the balance between the mental and the heart, the balance between the, the intellect and the emotion. So this is really a time of alignment. Look at your life. Look at the situation that you're dealing with. If you're struggling to let something go, or if you've already let something go and be sure that your mind and your heart are aligned because that is the reservoir from which you're going to have to pull your strength to move forward. Know that whatever it is you are leaving behind, it is that energy, it is that entity, it is that person, it is that relationship, it is that place, it is that way of thinking, it is that circumstance, situation, or event that has blocked you not taking your progress to the next level in your life, regardless of how far you got this year, okay? Know that it is that energy that has kept you stifled. And that has not allowed you to breathe and did not allow you the most full expression 
of your divinity. Leave it behind and let it go. You're with Tunisia Ali, giving you mental clarity, helping you to up-level your mindset, helping you to clear energetic and emotional blockages, and allowing you to manifest the glory of God that is within you. You are abundant. You are a perfect person and a beautiful butterfly. As you walk in and as you usher in to this new decade, go in with your full power, standing in your truth, standing in your authenticity and keeping your eyes wide open, not allowing those energies that have no business being around you to be around you. It's time for clearance. Have a beautiful day. Get your copy today of Manifesting Your Masterpiece, Self-Coaching and Daily Mindset Reflections for up-leveling and living your best life can be ordered currently on Amazon and BarnesandNoble.com.